Hi and welcome to another snapshot video tutorial. My name is Andrew Flatress and I'm the product manager for Humanware's Blindness products. In this video I'm going to show you how you unzip files received in Keymail from an Exchange account. Before our recent October update, users were unable to save zip files from Exchange accounts. And this is one of the many features and fixes we have introduced. You still however need a third party application to extract the file and there are many to choose from in the App Store. Just choose the one that works best for you. Now I'm going to show you how we save the zip files and extract them using a third party app called AndroZip. This is an app I got from the Play Store which I find easy to use but by all means use the app you prefer to use to do all of your unzipping. Okay so I have already received an email which has the zip file attached so let's start by going into my email. So from the main menu I'm going to press E for email. Email. Key mail. Enter to select. Key mail. Key mail menu. New message. Okay now in my key mail menu I'm going to press R for read. Read. And enter. Key mail. Andrew Flutterson Red has attachments forward. Shopping list at 1124. We now need to move to the email that contains the attachment. And in my case, it's the only email that's in my inbox. So I'm going to select that by pressing enter. Message. Okay, we now know that it has attachment as it announced it has attachments. We need to toggle my view to my attachment view. And the quickest way to do this is by pressing the context button. That's the square shaped button at the front. Press that once. Context menu. Toggle view attachments. And the first option in the context menu is toggle view attachments. So I'm going to select that by pressing enter. Key mail. Message. Attachments. So this is my attachments view. This is where all of my attachments that are attached to that email will be. Now we need to navigate to the attachment by using either your thumb keys or your space bar. So I'm going to navigate to one of my attachments. Shopping list.zip 9kb zip file. So this is the file that I want to extract. So I'm going to press enter. Showing two items. Open. So you'll now be given two items, open and save. Now if you did choose open, it will fail to open. You will get a warning message. So we always need to make sure we press the save button. So let's navigate to save. Save. Key mail. Alert warning. Zip files can contain malicious content. Before downloading, ensure this file is coming from a trusted source. Cancel. Download now. Okay, so you will get this warning message uh, because it's a zip file and I know it's from a trusted source as it's from myself, so I'm going to press D to download. Download now button. Key mail. Downloading. Saved in downloads folder. And that's now saved into my downloads folder. So we now need to navigate to that file in my downloads folder. So the best way is to go back to the main menu. Main menu. Press F for file manager. File manager. Key files. Enter to select. Drive selection. Key files. Storage. So I know it's in my downloads folder, which is located under storage. So I press enter on storage. Go alarms folder. And now I need to jump to downloads by, by pressing D. Sign folder. And D again. Documents folder. And D again. Download folder. Enter to open that up. Shopysoft underscore apps folder. Now we need to navigate to the file that I've just saved. So as I move forward through my shopping list.zip. There it is. So I'm going to select that by pressing enter. Android system. Okay. Now, because it's a new type of file, Keysoft's asking me which program would I like to use to open up this file with. Now, if you get zip files frequently, your best option is to select the program that you want to zip these files with. In my case, it's Android. Once you've selected the app, select the Always button. This way, when I open up another zip file through File Manager, I will not be given this choice again. I'll just use the Android zip to extract the file. So, complete ticked Android zip. My Android zip file has been, or app has been selected, so I'm going to go to Always. Not Always button. Android zip. Android zip. Successfully unzipped file. Parent folder. And as you heard there, it successfully unzipped the file. Now these ex these files would be extracted under the folder called AndroZip. And this is just how the, the application works. So now it's a case of navigating to the AndroZip folder and finding the file that's been extracted. And I'm going to do this through keywords. So let's go back to the main menu again. Main menu. 
Contacts. Key list. W for word processor. Word processor. Keyword. Okay, enter. Keyword menu. Create. And then O for open. Open. Enter again. Key files. Graph.docs. Now we know keywords are always going to take you to the last folder that you was in. In my case, it was my documents folder. So I'm going to jump straight to my list of drives by pressing space with D. Really useful command that is. Drive selection. Storage. Okay, I'm going to choose storage. Go alarms folder. And it's the Android zip folder that I need to go to. So I know it begins with the letter A. So I'm going to press A. Android folder. Android zip folder. And A again to jump there. So I'm now at Android zip. I press enter to open that up. Shopping list dot docs. And there it is, my shopping list dot docx. So I'm going to press enter to open that up to show you. Loading. Please wait three full stop. Edit box. So now I can save a zip file from an exchange account and unzip them. So now that I'm in my document, at this point, you can choose to save the file and save it in a different directory by using the save as command. Backspace with S. Edit box. Enter file name. Okay, so I'm going to choose my location folder. Current location button. Key files. Go to pair on folder. And again, a select command. a file to overwrite or choose a folder. A useful command here is Exit when recently. finished. Drive selection. Storage. Choose my storage. Select alarms folder. And I'm going to put it in the documents folder. So D. Sign folder. D again. Documents folder. And press enter. Go to pair on folder. And then I need to choose select this folder. Select this folder. Edit box. Enter file name. Okay, and I'm going to call this S. Shopping list. Shopping. And then press enter. Alert edit box. Okay, so that's it. I've now saved my file into a different location. I hope you found this video tutorial useful and thanks for listening.